How's it going everybody? I'm Patrick Static and welcome your faces back to a very very late mail vlog. I hope you guys are all having a great day today though. Let me know how your guys' day is going. Today is a... Today is... A, today is going to be a lot of stuff. Okay, I've got a lot of things to go over. Personal life stuff. Charity stuff, which is the big thing that we're going to get to right now. And then, mail stuff. So... Pack up, sit on down, grab yourself a nice cup of hot cocoa, and let's do this. So, first off thing that we're going to be talking about is the charity that's going to be happening. It's going to be happening this Saturday, January 20th to the 21st. It's going to be a, as close to a 24-hour stream we can do. Uh, the last time we did one, I believe it was for Able Gamers. I could be wrong. Uh, slap me upside the head if I am wrong. But I believe it was for a uh, 24-hour one for them. And uh, I think we made it 22 hours, 22 and a half hours. One of my mods could probably tell me, but uh, or, or a lot of the people that were there. Um, I'm going to try to make it a 24 hour stream, but we're going to be doing it for suicide prevention. I've actually men mentioned this uh, a long time ago when lovely Logan Paul. Now that I mentioned that, my video instantly demonetized uh, when he did what he did. I think now at this time, a lot of people know exactly. I'm not going to dwell or give my opinion on it because I... I have already on Twitch, but uh, we're going to be doing it for Suicide Prevention uh, Organization. Um, I know Jack, Mr. Sean, has already done one, and they raised a bunch of money, so big congrats to Jack and his amazing community. Uh, we're going to also be doing one, so if you guys want, that'll be again this Sunday, or this Saturday, Sunday, uh, from, I don't know exactly what time, I want to say around 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time to try 12 o'clock. We might even have it a little bit earlier in the day just so we can end earlier so I can get some sleep. Uh, but, um, that's what's going to be happening. We're going to be playing tons of games. PUBG, I have set down. Golf with friends. I have getting over it, which I'm going to try to beat. Uh, Seven Days to Die, Ark, Survival Evolve, and we now have a server, which if you guys want to do that, I can mention the server stuff. I'll mention on uh, to Twitch. Um, I have Long Dark, Slime Rancher and maybe some other games with some other friends. Isaac is also on there, but we'll see to what games we actually get to. So I'm hoping to have a couple of friends stop by and have some super fun times. So make sure you guys jump on in that. Uh, if you guys want, I'll be trying to put a link in the description of the day that we do it in case you guys can't buy it, so you guys can donate if you'd like. Uh, we're going to try to make to $5,000 for the Suicide Prevention Organization. So again, if you guys can show up, it'd be much appreciated. Let's jump in the mail, and I'm gonna be grabbing. I'm gonna be doing the letters. Actually, let's do the letters first, and then we'll. We've always done letters first, and we've always done packages last. So we've got a couple of packages. I know I probably have more mail sitting at me for the, at the post office. All of this mail was, uh, if I remember to do this in the editing, there was a giant, big cart. They actually had to wheel out for me. I had that much mail. This is all from Christmas. So I, before Christmas, around Christmassy time, so I apologize if you guys have sent me stuff and I haven't gotten to it until now. I've been a stressed panda since then, so I'm hoping to get through this. But our first letter comes from, it says, Soko from Oregon. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. It looks like we have about, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six letters, two vanilla packages, two boxes, and a mysterious black bag from Rochelle. So we got that and there was more boxes, but I got permission from a lot of the senders to open it up on the Twitch streams So we've been doing that as well, but I haven't opened it unless the sender has Said yeah, Pat. It's okay to open So our first one we got from Soko and it is says hey there mr. Pat I just thought I would send something for both you and Marie um, The Gur is for you and the blue rose is Marie's I've started my own channel on YouTube now and my card is in the envelope if you wanted to watch. Uh, your cross stitch is being made. Thank you for everything that you do. Soko, aka Elizabeth. P.S. May the... What? May the tear pillow live forever. Pikachu and Gengar be life, be friends for life. Soko, thank you so much. I'm excited to see this. And I'm excited to go see your YouTube channel. Which is Stitching Monkey. Watch your cross stitch be made at YouTube. Dot com stitching monkey soko at gmail.com oh my gosh I'm excited okay hold on we got a mysterious piece of cardboard which I believe is for Ophelia maybe joking but this is what soko sent us there's a little blue rose for MK MK 
I have a nice cross stitch blue rose for you. And we have a little girl. Look at the little girl. The taco. Freaking love invaders, Jim. Soko, thank you so much for this. I'm going to have to find your YouTube channel and see how you did this. I'll be putting, I'll try to put a link down in the description for those of you guys that want to see this as well. But Soko, thank you so much. This is so cool. These are amazing. So the Goldberg has, the Goldberg has decided to join. Do oh, you want to join us for mail? Do you want, do you want to join? Oh, oh, she's camera shy. What? Do you want to, do you want to open some mail with us? Would you like to open some mail? Okay. So, Ophelia says, this one is from Mackenzie Sellers from North Carolina. You've got such a manly voice. <laughs> oh, she's giving, uh, she's giving you guys love. She's, she's smacking my ma microphone. Would you like to read the letter? Here, here. Read the letter, Cooper. Okay, here. Let's, let's read the letter together. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. You ready? You ready, ready? Okay. So, Goober's gonna read it. it says, Hello. Uh, what do <laughs> Says, Dear Patrick, my name is Mackenzie and I'm 14 years old. I live in Sneeds Ferry, North Carolina, and I love your videos. You always make me laugh, and I'm a big fan of them salty boys and watch almost every single one of your videos. I'm a writer and a pianist, and would love to write you uh, and would love to write to you more. Uh, oh, Uber, what are you doing? Um, says I have a weird question. Can I have your autograph? I hope to write to you more soon. P.S. I'm in school and I have a catchphrase. Riggedy, riggedy, woof. Anywho, love, Mackenzie. Merry Christmas. Uh, so, Mackenzie, thank you so much for the letter. Uh, Goober had a good time reading it. <laughs> As for the signature thing, uh, one, my autograph is terribly scribbly. I don't have a very good autograph. Um, but I think the only way to give it to you besides sending you a, a mail letter is if you want, I could try to sign one in an email and then send it to you. So that's one thing I could do if you want. So if you want, hit me up in in my my email, which I'll leave down in the description. Go for it. Oh, you got you got a weird little nugget. So if you want to do that, Mackenzie, my email will be down in the description. And for anybody else that wants it, what are you doing? You're being a silly biscuit. Anyway, Mackenzie, thank you so much for your letter. Moving along to our next letter from Jocelyn Hayden from Wis. Wisconsin! Goober, what are you doing? She's messing up all the boxes. I have them nice and neatly stacked. And all she's doing is rubbing her cute little face across all the cardboard. Aren't you? She's being a... Being a bad little goober. Ooh! There's a bracelet! She loves these. Ophelia loves to eat those. Goober, what are you doing? You eating notepads and stuff? What are you doing? Okay, hold up. Let's go ahead and read this letter. All right. Unfolding says, Patrick Stoddick! Uh, hello, my Nugget King. I've wondered if I can join the Nugget Kingdom. Uh, sure, yeah. Also, I've drawn, uh, I've drawn Pokemon for you. I'm three months into school. Since school is here, I can watch, I can't watch YouTube and Twitch as much. Um, to add, I'm learning Polish to listen to a Polish Twitch streamer. That's really cool. Uh, I've also made a bracelet for you. I'm sorry if the bracelet doesn't fit. I'm gonna, uh, I'm going off my dad's wrists. I wish I could see you in person, but I don't have enough money. Uh, plus, my parents won't pay for anything. <laughs> At least you get my letters. If you could please wear the necklace I gave you. Necklace? Necklace or bracelet? I got the bracelet. I didn't get a necklace, though. There wasn't anything else. Uh, lastly, I love your videos, and if you want anything like a beanie, just ask me, and I'll ask my grandma to make it. Love little unicorn. P.S. What's MK's favorite colors? I know MK's favorite color is black. Uh, which which makes me love her more because I also really like the color black, as you guys can see. What else are your favorite colors? Purple, which is... That's, that's a good thing, I guess. Is it? Jocelyn, thank you so much for the letter, for the bracelet. I'm gonna have to have MK tie it for me. I think it should be able to fit just fine. I think... Yeah, this should fit just fine. So thank you for the bracelet. I freaking love it. And I hope to see you in person one day. You never know. I might be at a convention. I, I, I Right now, I'm planning on going to um, PAX East. PAX South just ended. 
I'm going to PAX East and PAX West. And I don't know if I have any others in store as of just yet. But those are the two that I have planned. So whether you guys can get tickets to the, to the, to the event or the convention, I will be in said areas, Seattle and Boston. Boston first, then Seattle. But if you guys are in those areas or close, I always do meetups outside of the convention halls because sometimes going to the conventions themselves are kind of expensive, which I understand. So if you do, let me know. Our next letter, I caught that, holy crap. Our next letter comes from Miss Christina Berry from Rockland, California. Rockland's just a hop skipping away from me. Holy biscuits, and this looks like a Christmas card. Okay, see, I, I feel like such a butt nugget because I'm so late on opening everybody's mail. Okay, let's see what it says. Oh, it says happy holidays with a little cute little cat on it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and a Pokemon card. Okay, hold up. It says happy holidays, Pat, MK, and Goober, who's now on the bed. Um, I hope all three of you are having a wonderful holiday season. I just wanted to thank you, Pat, for all the laughs and fun streams. Uh, and let's plays that you do. I you always manage to make me smile smile even on the worst days I hope you MK and Ophelia have a great new year and lots of good and wonderful things for come your way Enjoy the many gifts of the season Lots of hugs Christina PS included a picture of myself and Me and my nugget self and my kitty bitsy as well as a random hypno Christina thank you so much for the random hypno. I freaking love it. I don't actually think I have this one Hypno is chilling on a beach Look at that! Freaking, I wanna be on a beach. It'd be nice and cold. Well, not cold, it'd be nice and warm. It's cold here where I live now. But this is Christine. I hope it's okay me showing it. But Christine and a little, a little bit of kitty cat. Okay, MK would be really jealous. MK and I, before we adopted Ophelia, we were looking at a nice little black cat. And it was totally adorable. Sadly, he had a lot of medical conditions. So that's why we weren't able to adopt him. But we got little Gooper instead. Because you're just as big of a troublemaker as I believe he was. Aren't you? She's just staring at me like, No, I'm not a troublemaker. Anyway, Christina, thank you so much for the picture. The card, I hope your new year has been great. And I'm so sorry I'm getting to this late. But thank you so much. Alright, moving on along. We've got another letter actually from Jocelyn. Which we just opened one from Jocelyn. If I knew this, I would have opened this one along with the, old, the other one. That included the bracelet. So before we get to the last letter we've got, let's go ahead and open up this one, which I feel really, really bad for opening late, so I'm sorry about that, Jocelyn. But it looks like, it said on the back of the letter, Pokemon Friend Art, so I'm super excited to see this. The first one we've got, oh my god, it's a cute little squirrel! Look at that! Jocelyn, you are an amazing artist. Look at the little squirrels, I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Little squirrel's so freaking cute. Offer. I, I love Squirtle. He's such an amazing little nugget. By the by, if you guys don't see it up yet, Pokemon Fire Red is coming back. I I recently updated my computers, which I'm going to get to here in a second at the end of the mail as the personal stuff, but it's coming back. So we'll, we'll get to that in a second. But the next one we got, I think this is the other one. No, 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 no. This is the other last one that we got from Jocelyn. It's being a cute little Charmander. Look at the little Charmander. He's a cute little nugget. It says I tried. You freaking amazing. You nailed it, Jocelyn. This is a freaking cute little Charmander. He's a cute little salamander. Gonna be with buddies. A little, a little turtle buddy. They're so freaking cute, Jocelyn. Thank you so much for the Pokemon friend art. I freaking love the friend art. Thank you, thank you again. Now we're moving on to our last letter that I have received, which is from Megan from... Alabama. I believe it's Alabama. So let's go ahead and open this up. On the back it says Merry Christmas and it makes me feel like a giant douche nozzle again. Ugh, I don't want to. I'm totally butchering this. Ooh, this is a super nice Christmassy card. Look at this. It got the three kings on it. Boom. Lovely. And in the inside it says I hope the three of you have a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for doing what you do and creating the community that you have. Megan the Ninja. Megan, thank you so much for the card. Wishing you all joy, the hope, and the wonders of Christmas. Megan, thank you so much for the Christmas card. I'm a, I'm okay. Next year, I'm putting up all the Christmas cards. Christine, I'm putting yours up too. But Christine and Megan and Jocelyn and oh my God, everybody, thank you so much for all the letters. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you so much. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to say these. I have a big binder of things, a binder of all the letters I've ever gotten. And I'm gonna have to put these, the Christmas cards, in a brand new one to remember to put up on the door. It's a thing that my mom has always done. She put Christmas cards on the door. Does your, does your family put the Christmas cards on doors or fridge or what? Let me know. Because I don't, don't want to make my think I'm just a weirdo. Anyway, let's move on to the vanilla envelope. Our first one comes from Melissa from Pennsylvania. From Three Springs, Pennsylvania. So this one, I hope, was not... This one was not inside the tiny little P.O. box that I have. This one was in its own little box. Because I don't think... I think they've gotten the message that they don't want things bent. So, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, some awesome, amazing friend heart and stuff. Whoop, and I believe that is it. And we got a beautiful letter. Let's go ahead and open this lovely envelope. And then we'll get to the friend art, which looks like a Pokemon card. I'm just now looking at it. Okay, hold up. Eh. Hold on. Okay, we got it. We, shabam. All right, the card one is beautiful. I love the card. It says, thank you so much for making my world a little more beautiful with your kindness. Oh, and we got another envelope inside the envelope. It says, it really meant a lot. From KT. From KT. Okay. Thank you for the card. And now, Goober, what are you doing? I see you. You're lurking. All right. Now, inside of the tinier envelope, we have the true letter. I see Let's go ahead and read this little bad boy. It says, Dear Pat, first, I want to say, All hail the Nugget King! Though I haven't watched or followed you for a long time, you are a light in the dark to so many. Keep that kindness, because in a world that has become darker, we need the light. I was watching your old vlog with you in a car. You had, Oh, gosh. my That's the top hat depressing one. Uh, they, uh, not depressing, but I was talking about depression and stuff. Sorry. Moving my mic. Sorry, that may have been loud. Um... I was watching your old vlog with you in a car. You had your top hat on and you were talking about a few things, but when you said one thing, it helped open my eyes a bit. And this is after the event on the next page. Um, so this is okay to say on camera. Okay, cool. Back in July, I was um, attacked in my motel room. I attempted to take my life when I was taken to the mental hospital. They said I was a, they said I was a miracle as I had taken enough painkillers to kill a horse. Needless to say, I've had a bad upbringing and the attack set me off. I came back to my family home back in October and I'm right back in the fire. Watching you and your friends has helped me help keep the flashbacks and the memories at bay to a degree. Thanks to you guys, I have a goal. That goal is to be a light in the dark for those like me or who have situations worse than me. I suffer severe depression, PTSD, and borderline personality disorder. I want to be there where I want to be there where in, in my moment all of my real friends were absent. Due to things, uh, going back to a job like KFC or McDonald's is near impossible, so I've decided to be like you and the guys a gamer. Uh, P.S. I quote my mother, uh, P. Uh, my mother always said to me was, True love, true strength, they started out small and began to grow. Once you have them, it can't be taken from you. Uh, she took her life through depression and an abusive husband. Uh, PPS, last one promise, I sent the Cards Against Humanity deck to Gar, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope Gar shares it with me, because I would love it. Um, anywho, your friend Melissa, aka Catalina Teps. And Catalina, I remember your username from Twitch. I included some fan art, sorry for my chicken scratch, aka crappy art. Nonsense! Uh, Catalina, thank you so much for sharing, and I'm sorry that things have not gone the best for you in the past. I hope things start looking up i hope if you ever need somebody to talk to you know that here at the you know in the discord here at the nuggets community and stuff we're always we're all here for each other um if you need to my dms are always open on discord uh if something's seriously seriously wrong but if if something is seriously seriously wrong i always advise you guys reach out to a professional me i like you said i am a gamer i am that is I don't even want to say that's what I'm good at because <laughs> it's it's something I've just done for a very long time. When when mental issues and mental health issues uh, are are the main concern, I always say reach out to someone who knows what they're doing. Me, 
I'm not that person as much as I want to be. If it's you're feeling down and you would like people to play games with, to take a lot of take the edge off to be able to just relax and have fun and kick back. The Nugget community is always there to listen, to let you vent, to play games with, to to just chill and hang out with. Uh, every Sunday we do a video night thing, and I don't know many of you guys know that, but we have a whole movie night section to where every Sunday, or even if you guys want to do it your guys yourselves, anybody that wants to watch a movie with all the rest of the Nuggets, you guys are more than welcome to do that. Um, so don't don't feel, and this goes for Kathleen and Tepson, everybody else, you know, it, don't don't feel like you're alone, that you don't have anybody to talk to or no friends to hang out with or game with. We're all here together, and don't don't feel like you're in this alone because you got all of us. So Catalina, thank you so much for the letter, and I do hope things start turning up. Now Catalina said that she included some friend art, and the first of which, oh my God, these are all freaking awesome. Okay, hold up, I'm gonna. The first one we've got says Patrick Static. He says JP's gonna be mad. It's a shiny. And it looks like a giant Pokemon card. It says Static Nuggets. Holy crap. Okay, this is one of the coolest things. Now, I have three attacks. Uh, first one is called Glitter Bomb. Okay, Post You Later sent me a Glitter Bomb. Exploded my face and got all over my floor. There's still glitter there, by the way. It says Glitter Bomb creates an Insta Salt Flow. I'm just filled with salt, am I? It says over 9,000 damage. And then there's one called Call for the Goober. When backed in a corner, search the house for the fairy type Goober. This will stun and confuse the opponent. Oh, and at the very bottom says Patrick Static is a good person known as the light in the dark when Goober is playing with their little ball. Uh, when around friends, Patrick is docile and has tons of fun. That is awesome. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one is a riggedy. Ooh, we got the Static Nuggets logo again. It got a little riggedy me with some moves. The moves are the riggedy dance does 100 damage plus 4 damage when a knockout of the chicken man occurs. <laughs> Get wrecked, Wade. We have salt shaker when the opponent is triggered, which is like usually always. Take two salt shakers and begin chanting, it's Wade. Like a Clefairy. I could do that. And then we have the riggedy bear is the final form of Patrick Static. The riggedy bear is a lovable bear. You know what? Hold on. I. One thing that my mod skits. Hold on. And this is what my amazing mod skitsy made me. It is a riggedy bear onesie. And it's so friggin' cute. I love. I love this thing. This is the coolest thing skitsy has ever. Skitsy has made me a ton of amazing things. She's made me a really cool riggedy beanie that I can wear. And that's when I wore beans. MK found my Gengar beanie. I actually lost it. But Skitsy made me this amazing onesie, which I'm gonna rip riggedy all over the time. Uh, but this is my final form, so I'm gonna be doing the rest of the mail in this because I'm comfy now. <laughs> Anywho, we have the fairy type Goober, which is the first attack is Cuddle. When you least expect it, the Gooper will curl up or under the owner's chin and suffocate them with cuteness. It's an instant knockout. And then catnip craze, she does not need it. I say it and she comes running. When Goober gets into it, the catnip, she becomes intoxicated and bites everything. Actually true. Uh, she's weak to grass type, though Goober should be a dark- It makes sense because catnip has a door. Uh, <laughs> though Goober should be a dark type for the trouble she gets in. The cuteness level makes her fairy type. One of the cutest fairies the land ever saw. That is amazing. And we have the Static Nuggets logo. And then the last thing that we've got is, Hiya, buddy. Who are you leaving me? Ah, fuck my luck! And this is for Pat and Gar. It's a slender. Lovely stop at slender. I think it's supposed to be a stop at slender. Dear Catalina, thank you so much for the, one, the card, the letter, and the amazing Pokemon and slender friend art. I love it. So I just got done opening the other vanilla envelope. Um, the person that sent them uh, wanted the message or the letter to be kind of a private thing. Um, but inside was some friend art and some Zelda mints. So, uh, R-O-R-L, thank you for your letters and the friend art. I freaking, I really, really like the friend art. I'm going to show the friend art just because I, I really, really like it. 
But on the friend art was included was a little cute little Patrick Static with a Gengar and a Tiki because I, I really love Tiki things. And at the very bottom it says get the heck out of things is get the fuck out of my room. No, get the hell out of my room. It's me flipping out. And then on the other side was this little cute haunter, some rupees, and me with a little riggedy Gengar. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, it's really, really cute. So thank you again, uh, Roll. I'm just going to call you Roll if that's okay. Um, anywho, we're moving on. We got three more packages plus this mysterious black bag from Rochelle. Uh, been kind of wondering what this is. So I'm going to open it now and hope that it's not something that's going to blow up in my face like Post has sent me in times past. Okay, um... Oh gosh, I'm getting nervous now. Oh, it's double sealed. What is this? Okay, this is a never... I think this is a trash bag. Are you trying to tell me something that I already know and that's I'm trash? <laughs> okay, ins inside is another bag. Okay. I am extremely curious at what this is now. Bag upon bag upon bag. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness! Okay, hold on. Is there a letter? Is there anything? Rochelle! There is. There's a tiny, tiny letter. Okay, it says, uh, I messed this up first, but I had, uh, I messed up the first one, but had this one is, wait, I messed up the first, uh, but this one is so much better anyway. This is, no, this is reversible, meaning you can wear it either way. I really hope you like the hat. I wish it was bigger though. This is a very stretchy, soft, and comfy. It is also machine washable and dryable. With love, Rachel. I think it's Rachel, not Rochelle. Rachel Craig. So, Rachel has sent me a really nice... Okay, I'm sorry, Skitsy. I have to take this off. A really, really nice beanie. There's the little letter. But look at this! It, like, matches my hair perfectly! Look at this. Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. You say you wish it was bigger. This fits perfectly. <gasps> Look at this beanie. Marie. Marie. She's not even fan. Look at this beanie. It matches my hair. It's very cozy. It is so soft. Oh my God. I can't even get over how soft it is. I'm not here. here. I don't even want to take it off to give it to you. No, you have to come here. This is so comfy. <laughs> <laughs> MK is lazy as hell. Rachel, Rochelle, I hope it's one of the... Miss Craig, thank you so much for this. This is so... You say you wish it was bigger. This fits my head perfectly. This is not too tight. It's not too big. I can do this and it doesn't come off. Oh, this is so nice. Thank you so much. I'm not taking this off. I might take it off to throw it at Marie so she can feel it. But this is, this is amazing. Thank you so much. I freaking, this is so comfy. It's so nice and soft and warm. Ah! Okie day. Now we're moving on to the boxes, which I am just now realizing I do not have an instrument to open said box. I have a screwdriver. Let's go ahead and try to break this open. The first box is, I don't know. It doesn't have a name for it. it just says Patrick on it. So, Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I still cannot get over how friggin' cozy my head is now. Okay, I'm probably shouting a lot louder than I actually need to. So, this little tiny box is what we're opening. And inside, oh my gosh, is a stocking. And it says, ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh, who is this from? Hey, hold on, Cooper's got a nice little box now. I think there's a letter inside. Oh my gosh, there is. Okay. Santa came late. Well, uh, Patrick is late. Santa came on time. He says, open this card if you want to see a hot naked guy with a tan. I just need to go look in the mirror. I'm just, I'm not naked at all. Oh my God, it's the gingerbread man. <laughs> it says, happy holidays, Patrick. I thought this was funny and I hope you do too. 
Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I think it says Rin. I hope it says Rin. It looks like R Y N. That is very cute. That is a very cute card. Oh my goodness. Now inside of our stocking, we got, oh, we got a little gaming control. Marie, we have some Christmas decorations for next year. It's a little, it's a little Xbox controller. It's adorable. Goober, you're not allowed. Goober had a bad time with the ornaments this year. And, oh, it's a little cat. Okay, hold on. Let's read. Th there, a little letter came on this. It says this is a Manikiniko or lucky cat, usually found in Japan. I found it at my workplace. Here's wishing you all the luck and happiness in 2018. Thank you so much. Look at the little kitty. Look at the little lucky cat. Goober, look at you. Look at you. You're you're a little bit bigger than this cat, but thank you so much. This is so cute. I'm gonna have to put this on a, our tree next year. But thank you so much. This is amazing. I'm gonna definitely use this. I'm, I'm gonna put all the Goopers things in here for next year. Her little maybe catnip. She's good. She was ripping off the ornaments from last year. So I don't know if we're gonna give her ornaments to play this year. Thank you so much. All right, we are down to our last two boxes, which is from, this one is from Anna from Oklahoma. So let's go ahead and open Anna's package. And as we open, oh, as we open Anna's package, I want to say thank you to everybody who sent MK Goober and I some stuff this year. Uh, and I'm deeply sorry that I'm super late to it. Uh, this, the last couple of months has been a little crazy. MK went home for uh, Christmas, which left me home with Goober, but I was kind of super depressed because Marie was gone so I didn't do much come on ow I scratched myself okay hold on Ugh. there we go alrighty ooh and I open it and the letter is right there alright this okay I as comfy as this is I need to take this off and I need to put my hoodie back on to keep my hair from keeping in my face I need to actually get my hair trimmed, I think. It's set. Oh, this is from Captain Awesome. Okay, so dear Patrick, hello. I hope you're having a great day. It's Captain Awesome. Captain Awesome 07. Uh, I'm super thankful for all that you do. I started watching your videos a few years a few years ago. I believe that the one that made me think that made me want to check out your channel was the video where you talked about your depression and the reason why you started making videos. You talked about wanting to make someone happy, and you did. Uh, I had stuff going on that I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. It was nice fi to find someone who seemed real and open with their community. I'm not saying anyone else is real or open, I just feel like I belong. Almost a year ago I started following you on Twitch and I'm very happy that I found a caring community. I always look forward to your videos in the day and of the day and your live stream. Now here we are with you reading this, I appreciate appreciate that you have been open and honest with your community. I, I truly love that you call people your friends and not fans. It makes me feel like I am your friend. Because you are. Uh, happy holidays, your friend Captain Awesome 07. It seems that video that I did a very long time ago, uh, I was having kind of a weird day at work and uh, I decided to just go drive around because I was just not having a good day and I decided to just vent, just talk. And that video came out. And I used to do those kind of like vloggy videos a lot off of my phone. I would just upload it to YouTube. And that one was the... That one has been viewed and, you know, a, a lot of people have really connected with that video. So I'm, I'm really happy that video is connected with a lot of you guys. If you guys are curious about what video it is, I'll try to leave a link in the description. But let's see what Captain Awesome says. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Oh yes. Captain Awesome. You are truly awesome. Marie's gonna be so jealous. Look at this. It is a Zelda blanket. I don't know. This is real. I am. I'm never leaving this desk. 
I'm just gonna recently we've had some comfy streams and comfy streams meaning we get and oh god this is so comfy I'm the never leak hey I'm Patrick static welcome to the channel I'm forever gonna be encased in this riggedy onesie and this very comfy blanket please bring me beef jerky oh my god this is comfortable as hell oh this is so nice I'm happy. <laughs> oh, it's a beautifully made fleece blanket with Zelda and Link on it. Captain Awesome, thank you so very, very much for this amazing blanket. I am going to wear this all day in the stream tomorrow. I've also got some green blankets right here because we've been comfor comfortifying ourselves lately. We, we bring blankets to the live streams. So if you guys are curious about the Twitch live streams, make sure you bring a blanket because a blanket a day keeps... Uh, it keeps you happy. I like being comfortable. Captain Awesome, thank you so much for the blanket. You're amazing! All right. We have come to the last package of today's video and this one comes from Emma. Browning, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy that has been, like, oh gosh, heavily taped off. This might take me a second. Okay, I have finally opened said pack. Oh, there's Christmas things inside. Oh, Goober, stay out of the box. It says Pat, MK, and Goober. This is the letter that we got. And on the back it says fa la 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 la, but that's all been crossed out. It says ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. All right, we see a card with, uh oh. Santa and Frosty are in the restroom, and Frosty is going to get his hands dried by the thing. It says, Frosty, no! Warmest Christmas wishes. It says, Hi, Pat, my name is Emma, but on Twitch, I'm Colorado native. Colorado native 96 I recognize that name I just wanted to send you some goodies for y'all for Christmas goober is now inside of the box I just took this blanket out of captain awesome I may ship you a kitty back I think she likes that box anywho it says I just want to send you send y'all some goodies for Christmas your videos provide a sense of relief in the hard days I can have sometimes I hope you all enjoyed the gifts. I'm so glad to be part of the Nugget family. Uh, love, Emma, a.k.a. Colorado native. Merry Christmas. I feel so bad for opening these so late. So, the first bag I find... I don't know who's... Okay, Goober's having a freaking heyday inside of this box over here. So, this first bag that I see... Let me see. I don't know. I'm guessing... Okay, this has to be for MK. We have some colored pencils. I'm swimming in colored pencils. Well, he swims some more. Okay. And, ooh, we have 30... 3, 30 300 drawing prompts. Ooh. Bowl of macaroni and cheese. Atoms and molecules. Charm bracelets. MK might have a lot of fun with this. Here you go. Merry Christmas from Colorado Native. These are all for MK. This is MK's bag. Do you mind if I go through your bag? There was some peanut stickers, which MK loves stickers. There was some lemon heads. A big bag of butterscotch pieces. Discs. Butterscotch discs. And I will let you open these, but there are two Nightmare Before Christmas collectible minis so this is mk's thank you oh that's my god that's so sweet now oh no i got stickers oh no okay colorado native has sent us catnip kisses it's a ball of catnip I don't know if I can give this to Ophelia. She's she gets crazy when it comes to cat. Okay, she gets a little insane. Now we also received some hot tamales, which I love hot tamales. Some sour patch watermelons. 
Oh, baby! Some crunch jingles, which I'm gonna eat up because these are amazing. Oh my god, I asked and I was received some beef jerky! Oh, yes. And some Pokemon cards. Colorado native, you have spoiled the crap out of us. Oh my god. <laughs> now Goober is inside the other box. I got zero twice. <laughs> Can I have the other zero? This is the little nightmare before Christmas He's MK so got. MK them. got two of them. I got two zeros. <laughs> two zeros make a zero. I'm gonna have to figure out a place to put them. I don't. I am a math expert. Now we got some other things. We have some kitty cravings with real salmon for for Goober. We have the kitty catnip ball, and we have this frisky flyer. Extend wand to play. Goober. Oh, she's. Come here. Come here. You don't, you don't want to, come here, come here, come here, you gotta come here. Oh, there's the Cooper. Oh, she's going to love the crap out of this. Oh, do you like the feathers? Do you like the feathers? Do you like the feathers? Colorado native, thank you so very, very, very much for all the gifts. You are amazingly generous. Maybe I will let Goober play with this. I feel like she'll go insane. I I feel like she will go crazy. So I don't I don't know if I will give her this. I don't know. But Colorado native, thank you so much. Captain Awesome, thank you so much for the blanket. I really love it so much. You guys spoil the crap out of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, so much for all the mail. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! All right, so we've come to the end of the mail and announcements. We've done the charity announcement. We've done all the mail that I've gotten as of right now. I'm sure there's more at the post office, like I said. But uh, Cooper's having fun playing with the little feather wand. But uh, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on everything that's been going on in my life. Um, as of recently, things have been, uh, a little, for, for those of you guys that have been on Twitch or paying attention to Twitter and stuff, uh, lately, I've been going through some kind of weird funk. Um, I don't know really what's been going on, but, uh, I've, I've been slowly snapping out of it, and, uh, I wanna, I wanna send a big thanks to everybody that's been, I don't wanna say putting up with me because that's not the right words, but, uh, I've been very patient with, with the streams as of late. I haven't been feeling very much myself and as of today of me recording this I actually got out with my family, got out with uh, my brother, my with with MK, my brother's girlfriend Maria and we my mom and dad we went out and we just got out of the house and got away from a lot of the technology and stress of life so I'm feeling better and I think I just need to take little breaks every so often. Um, aside from that uh, the big thing that's stunting a lot of new videos coming out was I got a new computer. Um, I, I ended up getting a new beefier computer. It's called the monster. Um, I'm hoping to put up some, if I remember correctly, to edit it in. Um, I'm hoping to put up some pictures. If not, they are in the Discord or they were a long time ago. But, uh, if you guys would like the specs of my new computer, it's all on Twitch. If you scroll to the very bottom, uh, you guys can see everything that's in there. But, um... A lot of my saves for stuff like Black Mirror, um, Long Dark, uh, and a couple, Seven Days to Die are a couple of things have all been erased. Um, I need to replay the games. If Pokemon was one of them, a lot of the games have lost their saves, and I have to go back and redo them all. So things like Black Mirror, Pokemon, um, Long Dark, all that will be coming back. I'm just very slow at redoing everything up into the point that uh, I, I end up with. So those games, I am, I am not not finishing. I am finishing them. I just need to get, again, back up to those points. So thank you for being patient. I know that's been one question uh, that I've been getting a lot lately. The one comment I get almost daily now is, Pat, where is the videos? Where is the seven days to die with the salty boys and Molly? Um, 
that is the one question I get almost on every single video. So I wanted to address that here in this video as kind of like a mini announcement. Another question is, where's Gang Beasts? Though that I'll try to sum up here in the same thing is. Seven Days to Die, right now, Wade, as of today, Wade just finished his tour, the Mark of Flowers tour with Mark, Bob, Ethan, Tyler, and uh, himself. Uh, I actually got to attend it in San Francisco. It was an amazing show. Uh, I know they're coming to Europe next month, but today was the last day of the tour. So Wade will be coming back home, I'm assuming, tomorrow, and he'll probably be in the mood to relax and uh, be home with Molly for a little bit before getting back into the recording spirit before going back to uh, going on tour with the guys in Europe. So if you guys live in the UK, in the Europe areas, check your guys' dates to go check out the show. It was an amazing, funny show. I'm not just saying that because I'm friends with all the guys, but it was a very entertaining show to go to. Um, so check it out. But uh, with the Seven Days to Die and the Gang Beast stuff, uh, I can't I can only speak for myself with gang beast, but I'm having a lot more fun playing human fall flat uh, That game is so much fun and so irritating at times But uh, I'm hoping we can return to some gang beast But as for seven days to die goes we haven't been able to record mainly because Wade's been on tour and we've been you know Christmas and all that other stuff for the holidays So we've been kind of away from being able to record new stuff um, Gar and I have been playing Hand Simulator. I introduced JP to it too, uh, and Wade said that he's on board. I haven't showed him any gameplay of it. Uh, I, I don't know if Gar has or not, but uh, you guys seem to really like Hand Simulator, so look out for it with the guys soon. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm really excited for that. But Seven Days of Die with the guys. We've also talked about maybe doing Rust. That's a that's an iffy thing, but I'm hoping to do Seven Days of Die since the last time we played. I have been streaming a lot of Seven Days to Die, and I mean a lot of it uh, on, on on Twitch, and I'm kind of like a pretty darn good Seven Days to Die player now. So when we get into it, I'm telling you, I'm going to be excited, but uh, I, hope, I hope you guys are all excited for new games. If you guys have some new games you guys want me to try that I haven't played already on the channel, which you guys can always search it, just type in Patrick Static and the game. But, uh, or just go through all the videos and find out, or the playlists. Um, please tell me down in the comments, or tell me on Discord, uh, what games you guys would like me to check out. I don't know if I'm checking out Doki Doki Literature Club. I've had a couple of people already ask me that. I've heard it's weird, okay? I don't know. But, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Huge shout out and thanks again to everybody who sent us amazing stuff today. You guys guys are amazing i love you guys so very very much thank you so much again to everybody i am going to cozy myself up and i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go sleep for a little bit so i love you guys i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i will see you guys all next time i'll probably still be here though bye Goodbye! 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 Goodbye!